Hello, this is Pinky, and this will be a tutorial on how to upload your very first avatar. Now to start, we will need to open up Unity Hub. I'll leave a link to this in the description, but this is the Unity Editor. This is what you will be using to upload any avatar into VRChat or any world. Now to start this off, we will click New Project. We will go to All Templates, and we'll go to 3D Core, and then we'll name it what we want here. So I'm going to name it First Avatar. You can name it whatever you want. And also in location, this is where you would pick where you want it to be stored. I already have it in all Unity projects, but you may want to change this. So you would just click on this and choose where you want to put it. So to start off, I'm going to press Create Project, and now it will automatically open the project for us. Okay, now that we have our uh, brand new Unity project here, the f we will first need to import three things. So, in order, we will need to import the VRChat SDK, then the Poyomi shader, or any shader of your choice. You could use standard, but I personally choose Poyomi. And then the avatar you want to upload. So, in this case, I'll be using the Zucros by Hirozu. So, to start off, go to VRChat.com, and you may start on a page that looks like this. You want to go down here and click download and then right here download SDK 3 avatars. So this is the newest one and as soon as this is done downloading you can drag this into your Unity down here in the assets and you just got to wait and you got to hit import and it'll import the newest VRChat SDK. While that's happening next is we're going to download the Poyomi shader. So what we're going to do is going to click here and right here under releases click and then download the newest one that says Unity Package. So in this case, I'll be choosing the 8.0.426. Yours may be newer, or you may want to use an older version. Either way, it will work. And then the next step will be also downloading the avatar. So if uh, I personally use Gumroad, Gumroad to buy my assets. And I have located the Unity Package. So this is the one I want to download. I'll click Download. And as you can see, it is now downloading. Now that your VRChat SDK is finally imported, to test that this works, you can click up here and do Show Control Panel. If you do not have this, you may have to reload your Unity uh, project by closing it and reopening it. But as you can see now, we have successfully opened up the VRChat SDK. And this is where you will log into your VRChat account using VRChat.com. Um, so next, we're going to drag in the shader and import this. So just by dragging it down here into the assets, we now have the ability to import Poyomi. Okay, now that we have successfully imported that, the next step will also just be dragging in our avatar package. So I will drag that in here, I'll hit import again, and now we will have to wait for this to also import. Okay, now that everything is successfully imported, some of your avatars may come with a thing called a unity scene. Now this one specifically says click me, so you can either click this, personally I like to just drag this in and have it here. Now you may see, oh your avatar is fully pink, and this is not something to worry about because it's just different versions of Poyomi, but what we're going to do is we're going to click on our avatar here, we're going to hit the drop down, we're going to click on body, and we're going to find these shaders here. Now these will say hidden internal error shader, you just want to click on this little drop down here, click on Poyomi. Click on Poyomi 8, and then Tune, and then it should fix. Now this is what you want to do for every single error that you may see like this. So again, Poyomi, Poyomi 8, Tune, and it will fix. So we'll have to go to the Floof and do the exact same thing. And any other clothing pieces that also may be in this project. So that would be the outfits and such. There we go. So our next step will be logging into the VRChat website and then 
uploading the avatar to our VRChat account. So I'm going to quickly log in off screen. So the video will cut here, but I'll tab back in when I am done. Okay, now that I have successfully logged in, as you can see, we have unpublished avatar, Zucros. So in this window, you will see that the upload and like test buttons are grayed out. This is because you may have errors here. So the first step will be, okay, so this is an error. So I'm going to click auto fix. And since that now it is fixed, I can successfully upload my avatar. So I will hit build and publish. I will say yes to this. Okay. Now Poyomi is going to lock the materials to optimize it for PC because otherwise it would be really uh, laggy. Okay, and now that all the materials have successfully compacted down, you will now have the ability to upload your new avatar. So I'm gonna call this the Zucros. I'm going to put a description. This is not necessary, but uh, I just wanted to put one down. I'm going to make sure that I have the rights to upload this. And I'm gonna quickly go into scene and I'm gonna click on this this little camera, and this camera will be your thumbnail for the avatar. And I'm just gonna zoom it in on the face. And then I'm gonna go back to game. And as you can see, the face is now here. I'm gonna click upload. And there we go, it says update complete, launch VRChat to see your uploaded content. So I'm going to quickly hop in VRChat to see if this has successfully worked. And now as you can see, we have successfully uploaded our avatar. Uh, to change into it, you would go to avatars, and then you would go over to uploaded, you would click here, and then you would switch into the avatar. Anyways, thank you for watching, this has been Pinky, enjoy the rest of your day, and please like and subscribe if I helped.